All right, Cancer. So we have the High Priestess and we have Temperance. And the High Priestess is Pisces, Virgo. Temperance, as I said earlier, is Sagittarius. And the Knight of Wands can be a fire sign here, which is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So Sagittarius may have some pertinence also uh, with the Ace of Wands here too. So there may be a situation, I feel there's a situation where there is a decision to be made, and it may be a big decision, especially with the high priestess in reverse for me, that it's almost like going back and forth, back and forth, and uh, balance is going to be very important. So... Because I feel like there are battles going on. Now, I'm almost feeling that this definitely could be a battle within you in many different ways. This may also be a battle regarding I'm picking up a family member. Now, uh, you know what I'm getting and this is just going to pertain to very few people, but I'm, I'm having the need to say this. I feel like in a health situation, if something, is, you know, isn't going, feeling right, go see the doctor. But I feel almost like this could even be more of like a fatherly figure or motherly figure, something like that. Like I'm getting like swelling of the feet or hands. So if that's happening, then definitely go have that looked at. Cause I feel like sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. So you definitely want to get a closer look and discover what this is. I am also feeling that there may be a family member that you are going to be helping or aiding because they are having surgery. Surgery is coming up. So if it's not you, this may be a friend or a family member that this is happening to. Um, but I also am very much picking up with a decision to make, this may be very much, especially with the two aces here, these are definitely potential opportunities and it could definitely be in love. It doesn't have to be. This also could be new beginnings um, regarding a job situation. But just to clarify the Ace of Wands um, does represent fire, which is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And then the Ace of Swords is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But they don't have to be this. But there may be a choice to make regarding um, two different energies, two different situations, and even possibly two different people. Some of you I definitely feel are going to be traveling. You may be taking a trip to go and, and maybe see this family member that is having a surgery, but this also may be that you are traveling to go and meet somebody and, uh, or while traveling, you do meet somebody, um, regarding love or relationships. Some of you, especially here, with the higher priestess or the high priestess, um, I feel that some of you are almost really kind of battling yourself. It's almost as if there may be a need for you to kind of take a step back and and really listen, what advice would you give to your best friend or to your family member? Because I feel like you know what you should do or what would help you, but you're not doing it. You're not listening to the intuition. Uh, something is very much, it's almost like, I don't know if you're afraid to look at it, uh, but I, I feel like, you know, could also be some information that may be important, but somebody told you not to reveal it. Um, you know, every situation is going to be different, but 
you know, we definitely have um, here the temperance card. And I feel like there's a, um, I'm getting like a very higher spiritual connection for you or around you. And it's almost like you're not looking at it or you're maybe even ignoring your own intuitive or psychic abilities. It may also be that you're in a situation where you're not only not listening, like I said, to your inner guidance, but I feel like you're going back and forth, back and forth in terms of what it is you should do for a career. I'm definitely picking that up. It's almost as if you're feeling stuck or do you want to go back to school or do you, there's like, there's more to be learned, but, or more to be seen, but I almost feel like there's some trepidation behind it. And some of you definitely are going to get that aha moment where something is revealed or something is uncovered or discovered. It's almost as if here, the ace of swords, it's, it's like whatever you've been in the dark with, it's almost like the truth gets revealed something is learned. What was unknown becomes known. What was imbalanced comes more into balance. And there's very much logic, logic or facts or like an aha idea, which then triggers your energy and your passion. And, you know, these aces are somewhat neutral. They're possibilities of new beginnings, but it's also what do you do with these opportunities? Because, uh, you know, they're, they're both for positive and for negative. And the sword can cut both ways. So uh, it's very much, I feel, that your back and forth, back and forth, for some of you, that is going to stop because you're like a moment in time where the light bulb goes off and you see the light. It's... You, you, you now find your way out of whatever this struggle is. You're almost fighting or battling a higher purpose. I think it's very important that you look as to why you're doing that. Because with the high priestess here, I feel that there are so many gifts and that you're not looking at. There's a need to go deeper. It could also be that meditation will definitely help you regarding the situation that you're battling. We'll give you the guidance and then we'll give you the inspiration and clearer thinking. And that's why these aces are here. Because these aces, I'm almost feeling like some of you could be saying, you know, it's too late to do this or it's too late to do that. You know, I've, I've been going back and forth regarding the situation and it's too long of a path or too long of a road. And that's not the case at all. This is an awakening. You have an awakening for a higher calling. And it's almost like rewrite, rewrite your script, rewrite whatever it is that you were told that you weren't good enough or you didn't have this ability. Uh, because I'm very much picking up even not just medicine and not just surgery, or things like that, but I'm picking up very much alternative 
medicine or healing or possibly Reiki or something like that. And, you know, I, I feel like you've in some ways have been denying yourself or fighting your own abilities. And, or maybe these are messages from other people that have been fighting with you saying, you know, no, you can't do it. But there, there is something that for some of you has recently ended. And this is a doorway. This is a passage. This is like um, a torch and insight, clear insight. And I really think by taking a step back and really listening to your own inner wisdom, your own inner guidance, it will help you rise above, see your situation from a different perspective, and then be able to make a decision. And one that is going to be very powerful if you choose it to be. It is very much, and if you look at here, I'm very much focused on the hands. It's, it's in your hands to do what it is that you wish to do. So take advantage of this, this burst of energy and getting back in balance. I just get feeling back on the road, like to recovery, also nursing or helping somebody else get back on the road that you care about to recovery. The other thing I'm getting to, and I just want to say this because I'm feeling like a buildup of fluid, but I feel like in the hands and the feet or, or the legs. So this may go back to the relative or something like that, but I'm also getting that I feel like there's a possibility that somebody is possibly a fighting, um, I'm getting like a drinking issue because I'm getting imbalanced or dizziness. So just be aware of that because this may not be you at all, but somebody around you, there is a potential for seeds being planted, new ideas, new beginnings in love, in work. These are offers that may be coming in, in work, and you have a decision to make, like I said earlier, but a lot of inspiration and a lot of introspection. 